Mm-hmm. What are the differences, if any, have you seen in him year one around him to year two, which is way kind of taking his game to another level? Oh, uh, yeah. Um, specifically this year, I just see him way more locked in, focused, um, detailed out, mastering his craft. Uh, he's taking everything to, up another notch. Um, I think the key's been, you know, I, I told him, I said, it's easy to do it one year, but to do it consecutive and even years after that, uh, consistency is harder. So uh, I think he's accepted my challenge and he's took it to another level. So um, just the competitiveness in the room has been really taking a uh, toll on him. Oh man, it's, it's a huge thing because now you got the old heads like, ah, can't have my stop, spot taken. And you got young guys who's hungry to get out there on the field. And you just got guys who just want it. And um, that balance and mix has been great. You know, you know, we got so many good players in this locker room that, you know, everybody's trying to get on the field. There's limited reps out there. So um, you kind of got to show it early. Yeah. yeah, you know, it's us versus everybody, you know? I mean, I'm not really into Vegas, but uh, I do, we do what we do. You know what I'm saying? I, nothing to talk about, there ain't no reason to talk about it. We're just going to show it out there on Sundays. That's all you can do. I mean, his coach knows what's up. He read the room. He see what we, we can do and how we uh been performing. So, um, you know, I mean, you, your coach should have that type of confidence in his players. Mike, earlier this week, McCarthy referred to the defense as the thermostat. Basically, you guys are the regulators of the game. Is that how you would describe you guys? And what impressed you most collectively as a defense the way you guys operate? Yeah, I mean, staying back to when I got here, I mean, you know, defense wins championships. This is an offensive league. I think uh, defense has always been the key to win games. At the end of the day, you can score as many points, but if you don't get no stops, what does it matter? I mean, you see teams putting up 48 points and you're still losing. Like, what does that mean in this game? You know, defense, you look at the greatest teams or one of the better teams that ever won Super Bowls, they always had a top tier defense. You look at the Bucks um, two years ago. I mean, you look at the Seahawks when Q was there, their defense was phenomenal. Those when you hold teams to limited points and you know, um, I, we, I actually sent Q a picture of the top defense. It talks about the Ravens when they held teams to under 13 points that year and the 15 points uh, with the 49ers. And I was like, man, I want to be on this list. I want to be a top 10 defense. And that's just been the goal. And he took that and he's been putting into everybody and pouring his soul into us. And we've just been taking the bet. What about Aaron Donald? watching Yeah, I mean, you look at their defense last year. I mean, with him, Vaughn, Donald, Leonard Floyd, I mean, bro, I mean, Ramsey, Williams, I mean, that defense was, I mean, where, where could you even slide the protection to? I mean, you can't block all of those guys, you know, that that's insane. I don't even know how the league let that happen. <laughs> I mean, my love for Aaron Donald is through the roof. I mean, he set the tone for def defense. I mean, he's dominated this league since his rookie year. I mean, he's been an all-pro since his rookie year. I mean, he's kind of the standard of how you want to be when you're coming into the league. I mean, I'm hoping I could keep following his type of footsteps and reach his level of greatness and success, and I'm a huge fan of him. I hope I get his jersey in my man cave one day. You know, I put him up there with the level of respect I have for these quarterbacks, like Aaron Donald's that type of guy. And, you know, um, I know he won, he's almost out of this league, and we just got to enjoy him while he's here. Can you talk about the balance of the defense? I mean, you have elite caliber players on all levels, defensive line, linebacking core, secondary. How tough do you think it is for opposing offenses? Uh, I think it's real tough because I think we have the ability to take away things in the game that people want to do. We force the ball to come out quick. Um, you know, you want to develop, and you want things to happen in a certain way. And, you know, usually um, – Usually in the game, they'd be like, okay, this team can't stop the run, so we're going to try running out. It's going to open up our tunes. I think we got some of the – I think we got a very good run D, and you got a team that's like, all right, we could pass it. But I think we got the best uh, pass rush in the in the league, honestly. And, um, you know, if we could take that away, so if we make teams balance it up and make them earn it down the field, that's just something that's tough to do. Could you, you know? feel it against the commanders? Because it, like, it felt like they didn't even want to throw the ball down. They didn't. They knew they couldn't, right? Yeah, they didn't.
And you know, I mean, um, at the end of the day, you just got to adjust to it. I think the first half we're trying to, you know, we're so used to teams trying to at least try it or come at us, and um, we had to adjust to it. And I think in the second half, it was a huge difference in the game. Mark, you know? is there a larger critic of your game larger than you? Mm, it, no, one, no one's a bigger critic than me, but um, Coach George is damn close, you know. Uh, you know, you know he, we just got that type of relationship. Um, I think he expects so high of me, and um, he's just a guy I never want to let down. You know, he really believed in me, you know, especially he's the reason why I got drafted here. So, I mean, besides him and Quinn, I mean, I can't really say anyone's a bigger critic than myself. Oh, man, that was awesome. Uh, Dak ran out, and I told Dak I'd get a signed ticket for him. I, I, um, but I stayed. I just wanted to talk to Aaron and just meet him, you know. Uh, I'm just a fan of greatness, you know. Um, I just love to see people succeed. And I don't know nothing about um, Aaron Judge. I don't know where he's from. I just know he played baseball and he hit home runs. But he's just great at what he does. And... When you're great at what you do, there's something that comes with being great at what you do, whether it's how he adjusted his swing, whether it's how he approached the game different from last year, because he didn't hit 60 home runs last year or 62. He did something in his game that took him to the next level. And I just want to talk to him. And the most thing I was really excited about, like he knew who I was. You know, it's a difference when, you know, you're a fan of someone, oh, it's nice to meet you. But um, when he knew how I was, that just made me excited, you know. And, you know, he's a super nice dude, and I was really happy to meet him. You're going to get that ticket framed. Is that headed to the man cave? Yeah, I'm getting laminated. I mean, I told him, I said, I, I can't get this jersey, but I'm coming to New York. I want that jersey. I want a nice frame, that ticket, and just jersey. And I want his bat right next to it. I tell you, you better hit me a home run if I'm coming, you know. <laughs> What's the most excited you've been learning that someone knows who you are? Was it like a celebrity or another sports star? Or um... I, I don't know. Uh, probably probably when I met Lil Wayne. Me and Lil Wayne chopped it up. I was actually at his house this offseason. We chopped it up for a little bit. Huge football fan. And I grew up on Tucci, you know. And um, like I said, I'm just a kid from a small city. So a lot of this stuff be new to me. I'm still new to everything. And it's just been an awesome experience. Do you think Aaron's green at all about how we got to that greatness? We, you know, I was, I was tell him, like, how, like, how meaningful it was to me to watch it. You know, I just love seeing him succeed and uh, things like that. But I didn't get to pick his brain too much, but hopefully, you know, we can connect um, after the season and I'll be able to sit down with him when I'm in New York or something like that and pick his brain a whole lot more. Mike, you, you mentioned how impressed you are with what Aaron Donald has done and you hope to be on that level. How close do you think you are and how remarkable is it that you got more votes for Defensive Player of the Year as a rookie last year than you? Um, you know, I, I mean, the votes don't really matter. We both lost. I mean, <laughs> man, I mean, that, that really don't mean nothing. Well, my second place loser, you know. Um, but, I mean, just to even be mentioned with him is phenomenal, especially with the career he had. Um, it, it truly means a lot. But, you know, to be heading this direction is just a true blessing. And I just got to keep my faith with God and just keep putting the work that I'm doing and just trying to get better every day. I mean, I know he's a workhorse, and like I said, you know, that type of greatness don't happen just by waking up and just playing football. He has to have a routine. He has to have a schedule that made him like that, and he developed it to last this long. So, I mean, I'm going to try to pick his brain one day too, and, you know, those type of people that you want to meet, people that's done, done it before and just have that type of success. Have you studied him as a pass rusher at all? Um, no, I can't study him. I can't do what he do. <laughs> You know, I can't do what he do. I mean, he he's just so fundamental. Like, he can go speed to power, power to speed. I mean, he has great hands, and he's doing all this at, you know, almost 300 pounds. So, I mean, golly, like, what do you do, you know? He's terrorized this league for so long. People are scared of him, so they truly don't have an idea of what this man can do. I know you, I know you don't want to get Last one here, guys. When you look at the Rams offensive line, they have blocked in recent weeks. Where is the opportunity? Oh, uh, man, the opportunity is just, you know, try to affect Stafford, man. Um, same thing as every week. We got to affect this. We got to minimize this passing game. They got great weapons over there. And we got to try to get to the quarterback and try to uh, make them earn it the hard way. But 
you know, we just can't have Stafford do what he do. And I think he's a, a great quarterback in this league. And, you know, he's a Super Bowl quarterback. And when you look at his demeanor and how he's carried himself throughout his career, it's something you can't go unnoticed. So we're going to have to really get after him.